So 2015 has come to a close and 2016 is just about to start. And I decided that I would give you guys my list of my most anticipated movies of the year. But there are so many good movies that I'm looking for, so many movies that I'm looking forward to this year. Instead of making it 10, I would make it, I'm making it my top 20 anticipated films of 2016. I'm not going to drag this on any longer because this will probably be a fairly lengthy video. And I'm going to start off with my honourable mentions. The Great Wall set to star Matt Damon. Dirty Grandpa comes out at the end of January and stars Zac Efron and Robert De Niro. Looks really funny. Born 5, once again starring Matt Damon. And he returns to the franchise along with the director Paul Greengrass, who worked on the Born Supremacy and the Born, Ide Born Ultimatum. Triple Nine, it's a heist movie that's intense and it's supposed to be thrilling. It's got um, Woody Harrelson and Anthony Mackie and Aaron Paul and Kate Winslet. I'm really looking forward to it. The Angry Birds movie. I played the game, like, not even a quarter of it, but I still had some fun with it, and I'm looking forward to it because it looks really interesting. And Independence Day Resurgence, the sequel to the classic Independence Day. Here to start off my list, at number 20 is Ghostbusters. It's directed by Paul Feig, who did Bridesmaids, The Heat, and Spy. And it stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones, and it has cameos from all the originals as well. This movie, I believe, comes out in June, July, around about that time, so look forward to it then. At number 19, I have Doctor Strange, another Marvel movie about a character that you probably haven't heard of. It comes out, I think, the end of the beginning of November, very end of October, and it's supposed to, and it's directed by Scott Derrickson, who also directed the movie Sinister. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, Tilda, Tilda Swinton, Shui Tell Ejiofor, for, and it may have some cameos from other characters like Spider-Man. Number 18 is the Steven Spielberg's newest film, The BFG, the adaptation of the classic Roald Dahl novel. Roald Dahl novel. It has a voice of Bill Hader, but, it, but as the main BFG, it'll be voiced by Mark Rylance, who was also in Bridge of Spies, which came out in 2015, also directed by Steven Spielberg. At number 17, I have the Star Trek Beyond. It's directed by Justin Lin, who directed The Fast and the Furious, the very first one, and I believe he directed a few others as well. It stars once again Chris Pine, Simon Pegg, Zachary Quinto, all those, all the other Star Trek characters. And it also stars Idris Elba as well. Number 16 is a sequel that has been long awaited for a very long, for over 10 years, I don't, I don't remember how long now. But it's Finding Dory. It follows Dory, who's trying to find her parents, and she has to go to California. She goes from Great Barrier Reef to California, and she meets up with a bunch of characters, and there's Nemo, and there's Marlon in there as well. Really looking forward to it. Comes out in June. Number 15 is Central Intelligence. The teaser trailer was released. I found it really funny. It stars Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson, and it's got the director of... Where the Millers. Number 14 is a sequel to a movie that came out in 2014, produced by Michael Bay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows. It's got, once again, the Ninja Turtles, except it feels more focused on the Ninja Turtles, but it's also got Stephen Amell from Arrow, and it has Megan Fox in it. Um, and it's got Bebop and Rocksteady and the Turtle Truck, and the trailer was pretty fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Number 13 is Zoolander 2. The sequel to another movie that's been long, that's another long-awaited sequel. This one stars Ben Stiller, Will Ferrell, and Owen Wilson, just as the first one, but it also stars Kristen Wiig and Penelope Cruz. It comes out in early February, up against another film, which is which is higher up on my list. Number twelve is Now You See Me Too. This one is directed by the same guy who did a movie called Gem and the Holograms. Who those who didn't see it, it came out in December. This December passed. It's terrible. Don't watch it. But other than that, it's got Je it's got all the other actors except for Isla Fisher. It's got who's been substituted with Lizzie Kaplan, who was also in the night before, which opened against Gem and the Holograms. It also has Daniel Radcliffe in it as well. Number eleven is Assassin's Creed. It's going to star Marion Cotillard, uh, Michael Fassbender, Jeremy Irons, and Brendan Gleeson. And it doesn't follow like a story from the video game per se, it follows as a new guy who, I can't remember what his name is, 
It's directed by an Australian, I forgot his name, but he also directed Macbeth, which came out last year, who, which also starred Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard. Number 10 is a spin-off movie to the Harry Potter franchise, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It stars Eddie Redmayne, Corin Farrell, and Ezra Miller, and it basically, Ezra, Eddie Redmayne plays Newt Scamander as a magic zoologist who has a briefcase full of all these beasts and magical creatures, and he opens it, just a smidge, and all these creatures have escaped, and I suppose it's him trying to recover them, but I have heard this is a trilogy, and, but... It doesn't really bother me because it's got the director, it's got David Yates as the director and he did a few of the Harry Potter fi films so he's already familiar with this world and he did pretty good with them. Number 9 is Jon Favreau's The Jungle Book. It was completely under my radar and then I saw the trailer and it completely blew my mind. It looks so good, it's got the voice and it's got mo- it was shot completely on a soundstage in LA. It was shot completely on a sound- what? look at the trailer, it looks like they were out there. It looks like- Amazing! It's got Ben Kingsley, Bill Murray, Lupita Nyong'o, Scarlett Johansson, Christopher Walken, and Idris Elba. It looks phenomenal. And it comes out in April. Perfect timing. Number 8 is the Shane Black film, the director of Iron Man 3, The Nice Guys. It stars Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, and it looks amazing. The trailer came out a few weeks ago. Loved it. So good. It looks so funny, yet yeah, like an action to the seven, like a good 70s action movie. And I'm just really looking forward to it. I hope the movie is as good as the trailer, though. Number seven is X-Men Apocalypse. It, this one is directed by Ryan Singer, just like the first two X-Men movies and the most recent, Days of Future Past. It has everyone from Days of Future Past, well, just the main young cast, really, and I have heard Hugh Jackman's in it still. It's got Sophie Turner, Alexandra Ship. Cody Smith McPhee and Tyler Sheridan. They're all in this movie. They all play the young mutant mutants. They all play Jean Grey and Cyclops and Nightcrawler and Storm. And there's Apocalypse played by Oscar Isaac, who was just in Star Wars, and he looks great. Like I like the look I'm one of the few that like the look of Apocalypse. Number six is Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer. It also have if you haven't seen the trailer, it looks really cool. It's got new Joker, it introduces all these other villains, it's villains versus taking on other villains. Kind of like what Marvel did with Guardians of the Galaxy, except DC is doing it, except a lot darker, a lot greedier, and a lot more villains. Number five is the Coen Brothers film Hail Caesar. It stars a lot of people, including George Clooney and Josh Brolin and Channing Tatum, as well as Scarlett Johansson and Ray Fiennes. And Jonah Hill, see, and Tilda Swinton. It's a jam, it's a jam-packed cast. Basically, George Clooney is the biggest actor of the era, and he's been kidnapped. And the people who want him want a hundred thousand dollars for his trade-off, and it's them trying to find and get back George Clooney. Number four, this movie is opening up against Zoolander two, and it's Deadpool. The marketing for this movie is phenomenal. It, this would turn up on my most anticipated, just for the marketing. But it's a superhero movie with Ryan Reynolds, and it lo he looks fantastic. He played Deadpool in X Men Origins Wolverine. For those who don't know who Deadpool was, he was the guy with the giant metal arms and the mouth that got sewn shut. That was a horrible interpretation of Deadpool. This looks much better, and I'm really looking forward to it. Number three is the first Star Wars spin off movie, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's directed by Ryan Johnson, I think. Don't quote me on that. It also stars Felicity Jones and Forrest Whitaker and a Ben Mendelsohn and a few others. Like, by a few, I mean about ten more. Um, it's basically how the story of how the Rebels got the Death Star plans, and I'm really looking forward to it. The image looks super cool. The title looks awesome. That's about all they've released of it, so I can't really comment on it more. But it comes out in, in mid-December, so that's why it's not as high as I wanted it to be. Number two is Captain America Civil War. At the beginning of Marvel's Phase 3, it is also the, the Captain America movie. It's Captain America vs. Iron Man. There's been a big explosion, what I think is the UN, and people think Bucky caused it, so they're after Bucky, and Captain America is saying, no, Bucky's innocent, and so he's protecting Bucky, and Falcon's in it, and Ant-Man's in it, and Scarlet Witch, and Vision, and Black Panther, and Iron Man, and Black Widow, and Hawkeye, and everyone's in it except for Hulk and Thor. 
And number one, my most anticipated movie of the year comes out at the end of March, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. I thought the first teaser trailer was great, I thought the Comic Con trailer was excellent, I thought the latest trailer was alright, I still really liked it though. This one's directed by Zack Snyder again, and it stars Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill once again as Superman, and Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, but it's also got Gal Gadot as, Wy as Wonder Woman. This is the first time you'll see Wonder Woman in a movie, this, that will be on a big screen, and this will be the first time you see Batman and Superman in the same frame on a movie screen. It looks great, I, this seems like one of the must see movies of the decade. Um, that's my most anticipated movies of 2016, I hope you let me know of your most anticipated movies down in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to become one of the platter power, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.